Alright, so we got a new build for y'all, man. I want to show y'all my rebounding wing. I have a ISO rebounding wing build with play make and take so you can break ankles and cook up with a rebounding wing. Now, that's gonna confuse a lot of people, man. When you see rebounding wings, the first thing you think of is lock sharps. You think of locks, you don't think of dribbling rebounding wings. So this is kind of like it ain't really a rare build, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Uh it's for you to think, yo, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you typically don't see rebounding wings ISO. So I thought about, yeah, I want an ISO build with a lockdown name. I always thought the name Rebound the Wing was kind of lit. So we out here. Basically, I'm 6'7". I'm going to show you how to build this build towards the end of the video. You know what I'm saying? After the gameplay. But I'm just showing y'all how I play first. Because I, I was shocked by how fast this build is. And to be this fast at this height, man, is dangerous. Especially when you're running guard. You see we out here going crazy. Yeah, and he got ankle breakers, so you're going to be able to see a rebound of wing drop people. A rebound of wing dropping people is toxic. Now, this build is kind of like the glass cleaner lockdown in a way. Not the glass, like the playmaking glass. It's similar. It's kind of similar. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of similar to the two-way slash and play, but it's taller, and it has the name of a build that typically does an ISO, so it throws... It's gonna throw a lot of people off when they see three rebounder wings lined up in your squad. You feel me? Because everybody runs rebounder wings and perimeter locks now. So imagine you pull up with a squad, right? And there's two rebounder wings, three rebounder wings. Three. And then you got one of them that's ISO and one of them's a lock. <laughs> two other lock sharps. That is a toxic lineup. That is a very confusing, toxic lineup. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, this is a different variant of an ISO build, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've been ISO since this game came out before it was cool. You know what I'm saying? Now it was cool, everybody does it, but I, I've i been doing it. Look, he leaves me open. Strong! You know what I'm saying? Don't leave me open on any build, my guy. It don't really matter what the build is. Y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to shoot on interior force next. You know what I'm saying? I, I do it all. Gets the rebound. This build is a snagger too, and I have a high offensive rebound. So I'm gonna be able to get my own rebound for my teammate miss. But hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get these ankles for you. Hold on, hold on. Get your back. Oh, uh, stop! Can't press up on me, baby. Can't press up. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how I made this build. In case any of y'all interested in making this rebound away. All right. So obviously, the build's a small four. Hand doesn't matter. Jersey number doesn't matter. So let's get into the build exactly. This build is a lock playmaker now most people don't know that you can make a rebound a wing with this chart but you can <laughs> but you can it's which is the best chart in the game in my opinion most rebound wings are made with green and yellow i mean green and red you know this is typically most rebound wings and they're normally spot up builds and spot up builds only but with this setup i got you can do damage with it but this is what it's gonna look like for me this is literally what i got on mine right here you know you go build i went six seven now you can go six eight you can go six six if you go six six you see how the stats are better but honestly at that point you might as well make a two-way slash and play or a two-way you know i'm saying slasher at that point so six seven or six eight is the only two heights you should really go here in my honest opinion you could go six eight but in my opinion, I feel like 6-7 is the most balanced overall. So I'd recommend y'all go with the way I made it right here, in my opinion. Now, you got a 70 drive layup, so you can take this down. You know, you can put it, you know, here. It doesn't matter. As long as you have a 70 for long athlete, that's very important. Now, you only got one finishing badge. You're going to be thinking, bro, I only got one finishing badge. How's this bad? How's this build any good? Well, I'm going to tell you a secret. You don't need a whole bunch of finishing because if you ISO, most of your drives gonna be wide open anyway. Think about it. Most of your drives are wide open if you ISO correctly. Once you hop step with long athlete, most people are already out of your face. All you need is like an acrobat or a slithery and you're fine. Either one of those two will work. That's really all you need right now as a legend you'd be godly. <laughs> as a legend you'd be godly. But once you, when you're tall, you only you don't need as many finishing as when you're short. Six five, yeah, you might want it because everybody's the same height. But because you're six seven, you got the height advantage. You don't need it. 
Now you got 10 shooting here. If you touch anything besides three-pointer, you lose. I don't know if y'all really want to touch y'all three-pointer. You can. You can mess around. Maybe get one more defensive badge. I'm pretty sure you can. Let me see. You do that, then you're completely torching and shooting. So I definitely would not do that if I were you. I definitely wouldn't do that. So you can't really touch that. This is the most playmaking you're going to get out of it. Now you could go play glass. Play glass is good as well. You know what I'm saying? You could go play making glass cleaner. But this is if you just want the title of this. I'd honestly keep this weight default. You could bring it up if you want to be if you want to play the three. You know, you can bring it up to 234. Wingspan, I normally keep about the same. You're gonna get two options. So you can either have glass or play. Now I normally choose play. So you can get rebound on wing. This is how you get the name right here. If it's 15 bad, it's enough. I'm going to show you in a second. But this is one way how to make it. Now, could you make a rebounding, a go playmaking glass? Yeah, you could. As far as finishing badges, slithery is fine. This is about all you really need. Shooting, we can go silver, bloop, bleep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, normally, I might throw his on now. And then a tireless, you know? This is probably what I'll do for shooting. Playmaking. I mean, let's be real. All you need is this and that and that, and you're good. I mean, you can use Space Creator if you want to. And I just throw him a Silver Diamond. Silver were just as good as Hall of Fame, if y'all not hip. Silver Diamond were just as good as Hall of Fame. Or you can put this on Ankle Breaker if you want to. One of the two. You know what I'm saying? One of the two. Honestly, I'd do Space Creator because Ankle Breaker comes with the takeover. And then defense, you got a whole bunch you be able to guard ball and paint. So is you diverse. You can guard ball and you can guard the paint. You know what I'm saying? You can guard both. You can guard both so it's very, you know what I'm saying, diverse in what you can do here. You know what I'm saying? Any way you want to set this up, you can. I just did gold pick and you know what I'm saying and all that. This is a solid lineup right here. You can do it all. You basically can stop everybody here. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, man. You know what I'm saying? This is... A basic rundown of the rebounder wing that can ISO. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be able to ISO and dribble up on a rebounder wing, this is how you do it. Now you could make a playmaking glass and do a similar thing. That's your call. That's that D thing at that point. But I prefer to get the rebounder wing name because it's more confusing and it's lit. I don't know. I just like the name better. You know what I'm saying? You get a re you can have a rebounder wing ISO or a playmaking glass playing ISO. And look at it, it's two rebounder wings. Don't that just look lit, man? Don't that just look like got two rebounder wings? They probably think the two-way pass for about to run the ball, but nope. It's the rebounder wing that's about to run the ball. You know what I'm saying? With this Pro 5 cheese. Pro 5 cheeser. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Pro 5 cheeser on this build. It don't, I don't care, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get open for the easy dunk. And you can snag the guard. Look at me snagging. Because your offensive rebound. With some people gonna be like, why would you all upgrade off as a rebound? You can catch all your spotters' rebounds now. All of them. See, a two way slash and play, you can't do that because you will never upgrade it. But when you upgrade it, you will now catch all your spot ups misses. So you play with a lot of spotters that miss your shot, miss their shots. Guess what? You get to catch them now. You'll catch them and you'll dot them back out to them over and over because there's no point guard that's gonna have an 80 offensive <laughs> rebound. And then if you put, you know what I'm saying, rebound chaser on him, you got him. You got him. Now I got over here, got, you know what I'm saying, got the takeover, trying to get these ankles. Got him. Hold on. Strong. Had to get that off. Over here snatching ankles with a rebound and wing, bro. That's, you know how lit that is? Oh, get back. Get back. You playing me too high. You playing me too high. And then they play me right here, man. They play me with that layup. You know, y'all know how many layups I be missing with all my players just like that? It ain't because he got, well, I don't have any finishing bads right now. But it's always like that. Oh, he falls flat to the face. And he misses, bro. How many times have y'all seen people fall flat to the face? I don't think I've ever seen that ankle breaker animation. So that's why I'm trolling now because I can't believe he sold my clip. My two clips got sold in a row. Two clips got sold in a row, man. I know I y'all know this feeling. I know y'all know this feeling. We all just start flopping out to just like, bruh. I don't even want it no more, bruh. Y'all in the game. You know what I'm saying?
but I went ahead and ended it. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. But make sure you sub and hit that notification bell. If you subbed already and you ain't got that bell hit, hit that bell. What are you waiting on? Because you were loyal if you made it here. So you might as well hit that bell. 